Hey guys, today's August the 29th of 2013. I want to go over the year and just give you my thoughts and my opinions. And uh, also know this is just an educational video only, so please consult a professional financial advisor. Know that trading the uh, Forex is very risky and you can lose all your money. So with that being said, let's get into the charts. As you can see, this is my price and time grid right here. And uh, look at the action that the euro did uh, today uh, from yesterday. It was kind of choppy here. And look, this this thrust and you know in the London session or overnight and it just pierced all these levels and I was trying to uh, it's trying to at least get the 25 percent which is at 3293 and then you got the 23.6 Fibonacci level which is at 3316 so it's trying to get back on track and you can see uh, that maybe some of these uh, trend lines is trying I guess maybe uh, keep it or maybe wants to you know wants to get up there but we'll see um, this is where it's at, so it's probably going to be some chop fest because it, it's it's at like a grid, you know, level out. So anything could you know hold here could try to be above here, but if it starts cracking all this down, and uh, you know goes up like that where it's at right now, and then cracks this, cracks this, cracks this, you know, and then keeps going, then then the downtrend is already starting. But we'll see on that. Uh, let's look at the, um, let's look at, let's glance this chart and then look at different time frames. Um, so we can see what just happened, uh, from yesterday to today. Okay. So you can see already that we, you know, cracked mobile. So, and we cracked the, uh, Cajun Ichimoku, uh, moving average and we broke the Darvis support, which is right here. So that was uh, the 3296 right there. I mean, I, I didn't have a sell order or anything like that. I was just kind of still wanted to see what this euro wants to do. And it gave us, you know, some weakness and it even broke the value area uh, high level right here, which is at 3269. Uh, and uh, I think it got up to like 30, 3260 something. And now it's back to 3240. So it's it's having issues. You have 3240 as support. That's a Fibonacci level. And you got a linear regression line right here. You got the 50. Um, you got the John Pierce's indicator telling you that it's going lower. I don't know if you've seen my last video, but they were all kind of clustered right here. And that failed. Now it's projecting lower. So it would be nice if we could get a nice little, you know, uh, this, is, this is the daily. But if you look at, you know, maybe the one hour or the four hour, maybe some kind of retracement either to here or maybe up to here, somewhere around here, you know, depending on the Fibonacci levels, and maybe, you know, right back on it again. Or if it starts, you know, breaking down, maybe get in it, you know, uh, sooner. Keep in mind, this is a linear regression line, too. This probably would be very oversold if we get to this level, which is like 3187 around there. Uh, and I'm sure it's probably going to find support at the 50. Uh, 50 daily moving uh, simple moving average so another thing to watch too on the weekly is the um, you can see right here and I put it on my, my video last my last video the Ichimoku cloud is starting to grow uh, so the trend it's already looking into the future 26 days in advance um, well I take that back on the weekly it's I don't on a daily is 26 days on a weekly I can't remember the calculations but right here it's already changing the t at uh, February the 24th so now it's already showing on the weekly that it's it's starting to get weak and and I agree I mean you, you just see the price action it's just not it's not doing anything for us you know look at this just chop fest here you can find support here Asians like looking at the Kumo cloud so if they see the price gets down to like 3221 they might probably show up in droves because uh, they look at the uh, besides the uh, Ku, uh, Ichimoku they look at you know they, they look at the Ichimoku but they see other indicators but this is one of the their ones they see in their tools so I'm the kind of trader I like to see what everybody else seeing and seeing you know other things that other traders don't see and then make my uh, calculations from there so I just want to show you that you know the Hekanashi candle just set in it's red and it could 
do this play like this, set up, you know, to the downside, and uh, and then probably bounce up again, or maybe just continue down and just break down and just be really weak. So I just wanted to show you that. Let's look at the big picture and see what we got going on here. Uh, so you guys know the drill. This is my monthly, weekly, daily, and the 12-hour. We'll start with the 12-hour since this is where the action is going on. You see that we failed the 50, the, the Fibonacci level, 38.2. The 50, it pierced it, but we haven't gotten to the 61.8, which that one will be 32.22. And the 50s be like 32.58, so it's kind of dancing around there now, it's trying to you know trying to get back to the 50. If it try to get to the 50 and fails, that'd be a nice place to short. Tima yesterday was telling us stay short. Trend is changing, and is doing the same thing. You just gotta be cautious because it could do like a same play like this. So you know you gotta just kind of just gotta <laughs> wing it. You know you got it. Uh, Mobo telling you stay short. And you can see that CCI got off embedded mode. Everybody's just, you know, trending down. So that's weakness. Soap signal kicked in. Everything is pushing lower. You cracked the 50 on the MMG. So that's pushing lower. So that's oversold right there. You know, so that means that maybe this could get a nice little snap back up. And maybe hit the 50. And maybe right there, that could be a good opportunity to get in. And maybe ride this wave down. And uh, M, uh, TTM shortwave, it's trending lower. And you're below the 50. And you got a squeeze signal, and you got a green light to go short. So right here, and it's interesting. I, I mean, I've seen a lot of stuff, but I haven't seen, a, you know, maybe a squeeze play setting up on all the time frames. Like the squeeze play setting up to the, to, to the upside on the monthly and on the weekly. And you got a green on the weekly. And then on the daily and on the 12-hour, you got a squeeze play setting that to the downside. So this is the first time that I've noticed that. It's amazing, you know, what, you know, these <laughs> these indicators could do. It could be like, you know, it could drive you nuts. Anyway, Dermo is telling you it's trouble in, in, in Euroland. So it's telling you, you know, things are just getting ugly. This is still positive. Um, but the squeeze play is to the downside, and we haven't gotten a green yet. So... This is a good, you know, signal, and, you know, the majority of these are just confirming the downside on the 12 hour. You still got support on the daily here. You got a PPSL signal. I would probably wait for a retrace, maybe try to get to that mobile or that 20, and then maybe ride this thing down and see if it cracks this again. But this is going to be a lot of bulls showing up here, and, uh, Tima's telling you the trend has changed, so that's a good thing if you're a bear. Uh, Mobo has been negative. It's just been telling you. You know, it's just Tima's not confirming Mobo. Uh, and uh, this is negative. This already came out of uh, zoom mode, and they're trending lower. So that's negative. F you got a Fisher sell signal, so that's trending lower. You broke MMG uh, 50, so that's lower. And uh, this has been telling you the TTM short wave, and right here the same thing, squeeze play. And once you get a green here, then that's that's you know, it's definitely confirming the the 12 hour, and the 12 hour is going to confirm the daily if we get that too. On the weekly, you know, we just got a red candle, it's still telling you to stay you know long. Um, once this thing looks, this uh, Tima starts looking like this. Or like this when it starts then it could get ugly the MACD just got a darker green uh, but it's still positive and your CCI just got out embedded so that's not good but the thing is that you got the uh, the five that could do a little snapback it could push maybe a little lower and then catch up to the to the 20 and the 50 and then maybe do a fail and then go down so we'll see you have the uh, Fisher building up uh, to the downside and MMG just cracked on the weekly but you know in reverse <laughs> you got a green squeeze play green light to go long <laughs> which I wouldn't recommend and you know your TTM shortwave uh, just has a darker uh, bar there so and then the monthly really hasn't changed it's all the same you know everything is just pretty much positive so right now the game is uh, we're gonna like really you know start going to the downside 
or if we think that we're going to the downside, you know, wait for a little nice little retracement. Let it feel something, the 20 or something, MOBO, you know, let it, you know, uh, I mean, what I would do, just wait to something or, you know, an angle or something, uh, 50 or something, and maybe, you know, do that and get on it on the bandwagon to the downside. So those are my thoughts. You know, it might not necessarily play out like that. This thing might just continue going down. Um, and just just pushing around, pushing lower, you know, and maybe find support here. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but those are my thoughts, and uh, hope uh, you have a good trading session today with the U.S. session. And uh, I'll post uh, my thoughts after the uh, close, or maybe uh, I'll probably do my my thoughts on the close to see what happens, and then we'll take it from there. Uh, good luck trading. Peace.